not going to walk off stage the way that I looked in 2016. It's not going to happen. The performance, the way my body looked, everything. Because I know that I can do better than that. And for me, it, it was a very difficult moment. I was like, man, I don't even want to walk out on stage, you know, because I knew that I didn't look right. But at that point, I just said, you know, it's not about me. It's about finishing the race, having the balls to walk out for the fans, regardless of what it looked like, regardless they laugh at me, regardless of what people say about me. And I still did it. I don't look for excuses to back up, you know, and it's the fans is the ones that got me back into it. You know, so how can I prepare for a show and back out of it if I'm doing this for them? So for me, I had to look past what, it, what I look like and take what I look like out of it and, and look at the purpose of why I was doing it and just lay it all on the line and that's what I did. It wasn't about me and I'm not going to quit. I want to do a show, stick through it, go through it and just be better than I was in 2016. You know, I think, I think I owe that to myself, you know, I owe it to my fans, you know, and then the guys out there sitting back and the ones that, that's been told you can't do something because you're old, you can't do something because your pat time has passed, you can't do something because of this. I think people just try to just keep people down by saying, you know, you're too old to do something. When really it's not the case, you know, you just give up on yourself because of what? Because somebody else said you can't do it. You know, for me, I, I just, I know what I'm capable of, and when somebody tell me that I can't, or when I hear something ridiculous like that, it just fuels my fire, and it inspires me more to prove them wrong.